one's still a little janky since Summer hit it with the tractor. Oh, thanks, babe. Being able to implement these is gonna help so much. We hey, don't eat the grass. We're trying to grow that for you. And this may take me just a bit because there's a lot of rock that I'm digging through right here. Give me my string back. <laughs> Our normal drill that we use burned up. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. We're changing it up a bit because we've been going stir crazy. Don't worry, we're still gonna work on the house. We just need some sunshine, so let's work on the coop. Still a little janky since summer hit a contractor. Oh, thanks, babe. Like I said, we were in desperate need of some sunshine. Cody and I are outdoorsy people, and most recently, since we've been working on the inside of the house, we have been consumed with the inside of the house and have not seen very much daylight. We've had a ton of people suggest so many different ideas for the chicken coop. We figured we would put some of them in action and give these girls just a little bit more of a playground and have some areas to perch on and just overall spice up the space a little bit. Also, Hypocrite's Garden on YouTube sent us these self-waters for our chickens. Thank you so much. We are so excited. I've been eyeballing these for a while, and so being able to implement these is going to help so much. We be filling up water bowls several times a day around here, especially on super hot days like today. So, let's do it. Okay, so we can just use an eight footer.
we have our general dimensions and know how we want to build it, I'm going to go ahead and start building the roosting bars. But first, I wanted to talk about our awesome tool trailer we built because this is the first time I've actually got to use it for a project and it has been such a big difference. Typically, it takes me like 20, 30 minutes to gather everything around, find it all over the place, and then finally get it all set up and everything. But as you saw, it took us about five minutes to set up our workstation here at the most, so it's been great. But the real star of the show is the Blue Eddy because we wouldn't be able to use any of these power tools without it. We've worked with Blue Eddy a lot in the past and we always love working with them because their new AC500 is the only power station we've found that can genuinely replace our gas generator. With its 5000 watt inverter, it runs all of our high draw power tools like our saw, our air compressor, and even the welder. While our saw may not pull a ton of power, it does have a really high starting draw, but the Blue Eddy has no issue being able to handle it. And with its multiple charging options like AC, solar, and car charging, it's super easy to charge, so it's always ready to go when you need it. And it even has a built-in heater, so the cold weather won't stop you. And forget your charging cable, don't need one. And you can even use it as a home backup battery. So if you're on the grid, you're prepared for power outages, or if you're off the grid like us, you can have extra power for your house. But for today, we're gonna to be using it to run all of our tools and build the girls a better home. Everything you need to know about the AC500 will be linked in the description of the video, so make sure you check it out. Thank you, Blue Eddie, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go finish these stairs. We try not to waste any materials around here. Any type of wood that's at least this long or bigger, we save. So most of this is gonna be scrap wood that we had laying around, but it's still good for some things. Will you give me a new battery? Yes. One thing I like about the Blue Eddy is I don't have to constantly go back up to the house to get him new batteries. They're just always charged. Don't eat the grass. I'm trying to grow that for you. And of all I should have done. So the girls are obviously loving the roosting bars, but I think we're gonna add two more. Now they've got seven new places to perch. The next thing that we're gonna do is add them kind of like a little cactus tree to be able to perch on. And this may take me just a bit because there's a lot of rock that I'm digging through right here. So what do you think, like, where my thumb is? Yeah, just not so long. Uh, how many of them do you want to do? Boys! Y'all are so loud. Maybe just, like, one on each side. Four total? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go cut them.
I don't know, maybe like right there. Okay. And the last interactive thing we're going to give them is a swing. Give me my string back. We had a little bit of extra string left over and then we just grabbed a stick that had fallen off a tree from the backyard. What do you think? <laughs> What's up, Sales? You should grab Snitch. She's our try girl. <laughs> Come here, Snitch. She's the most adventurous. Snitch. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just the balance thing we gotta figure out, right? <laughs> as soon as I let go, she jumps. A lot of people say that their chickens don't use the swing, but a few of them do. Yes, we'll see. For our last thing, we're going to be adding these waters, and originally we were thinking about just mounting them along the wall spaced out with some PVC because we have some like, three-way, what are they called? We have some T-fitting, so we can, you know, put a T-fitting on each one and be able to just have PVC run on the whole way, but they're kind of flimsy just sitting right here. Um, I think it's going to be more work to try and do that and it's not gonna come out very well. So I think we're gonna skip that and we're just gonna go ahead and install them in some five gallon buckets that we have. What do you think, Hedwig? Since we can't do the whole PVC thing, we are going to be using a five gallon bucket Either way, doing water in the mornings will be so much simpler, so I'm very, very happy for that. Right now, I just become a muddy mess because you have to like twist it off and they're always so dirty and then you have to spray them off. This is gonna be a whole lot better, but we're gonna say scratch that, go with plan two, which is how they're originally meant to be designed, which is just attaching them to the bottom of the five gallon buckets. So he's gonna drill holes along the bottom. However, our normal drill that we use burned up. I feel like we go through drills all the time but it burned up so we're gonna have to be pulling out the trusty old corded drill so here you go babe That's pretty much it, super simple. So I'm gonna go wash it really quick and then we'll fill it up and see if they like it. This is our current water situation. So we'll take that out. And I'm just gonna level out this block a little bit before I set the bucket on it. 
Looks like it's good to go. What do you think? Apparently we're more interested in the lid than we are the water. Oh. Now Hermione? we're figuring it out. What's up girl? Hermione. The very last thing that we are going to do on the coop today is paint it. We have to do this in layers because right smack dab in the middle of the day, it's too hot. The paint will dry too fast. So now that the sun's starting to set, we can at least get our first coat of paint on. The first thing that we need to do is shut their door so that way they don't jump through and try to escape when I take all their hinges off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're good. For all the upgrades we did to the chicken coop, we only used about 15% of the power. We finished up a majority of everything that we wanted to do. We'll have to do a second coat of paint and then I believe we also are going to add trim and a couple other like little detail things over time, decorations and such. However, for now, we're just gonna let it dry so that way the girls have a place to sleep tonight. Also, like I said in the beginning, we just wanted to get outside. We've been stuck inside just finishing the house and so we wanted just kind of a change of scenery, but we're probably gonna hop right back into that project because our house is destroyed and we really want a functioning kitchen again. I'm so, so ready to have a kitchen. I don't I care know. if I gotta spend all night mudding. Yeah, it's it's bad in there. So that is what we're gonna be focusing on now. We're gonna leave y'all here, but I do have some questions though. T. Joe says, are you starting to grow stuff yet? Yeah, we have a ton of stuff on the deck right now. Lots of tomatoes. Yeah, tons of tomatoes, <laughs> lots, of tomatoes. Uh, lots of peppers. Some squash, yeah. watermelon. My trees aren't growing that well, but my blueberries are growing pretty good. It's it's probably like doubled or tripled the size since, the we, raspberries are since we got it. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're still tinkering with things again. We've never really grown stuff from scratch. Some stuff we bought on clearance at Rule King um, as they were, you know, discounting their plants. So yeah, they had six six packs of peppers for two fifty. So oh, yeah. I couldn't really pass that up. Yeah. Six plants. We're ready to get everything in the greenhouse and get all of our flower buds set up. However. We've just been focusing on the inside of the house, so that's probably what we're gonna do in the next couple weeks. Maybe take another break and yeah, do that. I've been doctoring everything, and keeping it alive, but I definitely need to get it in the ground. And I've For slowly sure. been repotting stuff into bigger pots, like from the seedlings into bigger pots. That way, they have a little bit of room to grow, so mm -hmm. they don't die and stuff like that. But, For sure. Uh, definitely need to get back to it though. 
Debbie says, can't you set the automatic chicken door to open and close by itself? Yes, you can. However, I do like coming out in the mornings and putting them away at night. Um, it just, I get to count them and make sure they're okay. Plus, I just love watching them squeeze out of there. It's so cute. And I guess it's also probably a good thing that we do come out and put them up at night ourselves because we've caught a couple of them sleeping outside at night. They'd end up staying out past when the door would close anyway. So regardless, we'd have to go put them up. So. Yeah, uh, maybe eventually, but for now, I enjoy doing it. So we'll probably just keep it at that. Pretty happy with it. Just in a day's work, we still have a bunch more to do to it. But this is stuff we've been wanting to do for quite a while. We just haven't had the time, so. We'll see you in the next one where we will be finishing up our walls and probably starting to mud and tape because Cody and I have been doing some of the drywall. Now we just have to get into the mudding taping part. So, yep, mud tape and paint. Yes. Wednesdays, I typically post on Wednesdays and Sundays. If you haven't caught along on that yet, Wednesdays and Sundays. So, see you Wednesday. <laughs> Bye. Spider webs. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life